is day 10 of our yoga teacher training so we're halfway through i cannot believe it it's weird because it kind of feels like we've been here for so long and half of me is like ready to go home but also i can't believe it's day 10 that's just a bit crazy today we have kiritan kiritan i think that's how you say it kiritan and it's like singing chanting so we're all dressed in white today and we've been told to bring heaps of flowers white flowers get ready to sing so i'm excited because i've never done this before so let's see how it goes Oh my god, it smells incredible. Oh my gosh, it does too. Oh. So it's currently 20 past 3 on day 12. We've just been transferring some footage from GoPros to others. And I'm just on my way to get an energetic facelift and or a chakra balancing, which I've never done before. So I'm excited to see what that's like. Um, Fully open-minded, don't know what it's going to be like at all because as I said I've never had anything like that but yeah we're gonna go and do a chakra balancing and an energetic facelift so here's the before and we'll see how we go with it really nice that's a uh, like a uh, square so I just had my energy healing sesh and I'm a bit unsure of what I felt. I kind of felt like pressure and like warming in my chest and kind of like it was moving this way and moving that way. But then I also don't know if I just imagined that because here's one of the other girls that went there said she felt that on her chest and then when I kind of forgot about it I didn't feel it and then when I was thinking about it again I did so I don't know it's interesting I'm just walking back down to the beach right now I'm going to a Christmas dinner thing tonight so yeah keep bringing you along it's more gold here Yeah. Oh, I didn't even get that far on the act. 
is like breathing development practices. That's pretty crazy that we're coming to the end. Um, so being day 13, that means obviously there's seven days left, but we actually have a day off tomorrow. So there's really only six days left, which is insane. We have a yin this morning, which I'm excited for because we haven't done yin yet. And I love yin yoga. I might actually do a workout today and then swim. Anyways, day 13. So we finished day 13 of actual stuff in the shower. The yin yoga, this one was amazing. I love yin. Just doing self study now. So we pretty much have the rest of the afternoon to ourselves. And then tomorrow is our day off. We're going to music Panina tomorrow, which is really exciting. We're leaving at quarter past four in the morning. So that's gonna be fun. Anyways, I'm gonna go do some study and then maybe actually do my workout if I can be bothered. I've got my swimmers to go for a swim because I haven't swum since I got sunburned a week ago. There was just an earthquake, but we're just vibing with the music and the sunset. I can't believe I survived an earthquake. Yeah, we didn't even feel it. That was amazing. <laughs> we're here. So we're just waiting for our dinner and waiting for the third earthquake. And there was the second <laughs> earthquake. We felt it this time. Although we felt it this time. Yeah, it was scary. Oh, are you doing it? So it is currently like five minutes to nine and I am about to go to sleep. I have got a little bag packed ready to go for the morning and also because there's been three earthquakes here this afternoon I also have got a little emergency tsunami bag packed just in case shit hits the fan overnight. Let's hope that's not the case. And the next update I give you is on our beautiful Nusa Panita tour and not hiking up the hill to get away from a tsunami. All right, so there was no tsunamis overnight, so that's good. It's currently like five past four. And this is my little outfit. I wanna be cool enough, but covered from the sun. I'm gonna wear my Eat, Play, Love hat too. Oh, I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. I love you. <laughs> Wait, so where are we going?
Oh, that's so narrow. It's 20 past 7 in the morning and this is the sweat. 20 past 7 and it's sweating. She's rather warm. It's hardly a week and a bit so precious. How are you feeling, Karu? First set of stairs. I'm ready for a swim. Yeah, swim sounds nice. Holy f Wow, looking really forward. Ah! This little part's a bit sketchy. <laughs> what? Oh my god, that was the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. That was actually rock face that we just climbed down. That was really hot and really sketchy, but we're almost at the bottom. We just got down there to go. Oh we're on the beach. That was intense. That was like some rock faces there. Steph does this for a living. They're great little fungus. They're pretty slow. Oh, they're going around. Yeah. This is hectic. We've decided we're not going down there. No. I don't think so. She gave me balls for 200. Oh, oh my gosh. What did you get for the crochet in them? You should see it, it's so beautiful. So, as you would have seen, we had a successful day of hiking. Was it hiking? Exploring. Climbing lots of stairs and taking lots of photos. I'm exhausted. I was gonna have a nap this afternoon, but then I ended up just like laying under the aircon and watching all the videos and looking at all the photos that we took. Productive study afternoon didn't really happen, but I'm gonna go down to the cafe now and try and get some study in before dinner. We just had a little shower. There's been another earthquake here today. I didn't feel it, but apparently it was like, um, what did they say, 4.5? So I've got my little tsunami bag packed again, just in case, but I'm sure we'll be fine, so. This is the first day it's been raining during the day while we've been here. So he can say that with the finger. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Uh, trying to run, uh, like, take the floor with the finger. So doing these yeah. micro actions, it creates, like, uh, with the feet, activating the feet, it creates more balance. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Like, that is okay. Close it over, it's like in the legs. Go try. Oh, I hate being in an L shape. So today was our last day of normal practice, doing our asana in the morning and then learning stuff for the rest of today. We did our meditation assessment today and then tomorrow we start our teaching assessments. We get a practice run tomorrow and then the next day is our actual teaching assessment. 
Um, but I did like a bit of a run through today, did a practice and I'm feeling okay. So hopefully tomorrow I don't need much um, feedback in terms of things to fix. Let's hope that's the case and I can just smash it, get it done. Anyways, we are currently on our way to dinner, the whole lot of us, because one of the girls has her last day tomorrow. She's not going to be here for our graduation in a few days. So we're going to have like a little early graduation dinner wearing some white because we're meant to wear all white on our grad day. But we're wearing some white tonight because it's kind of like her grad dinner. So that's going to be fun. And yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they behead their their partners after that after they have sex with them. Oh, this isn't gonna. Oh wow. Oh. You're very calm about this. If that was. Oh. Way too close. So it is day. Is it the 18th? Yeah, day 18 of the training today. We just did our first practice assessment of teaching. Everyone went really well. Like everyone's gonna get a certificate, so that's really good. It's like 10 o'clock. We now just have the rest of the day to do whatever we want, which is weird. <laughs> It's time for our assessment. So we have finished our assessment. I'm officially a yoga teacher. We get our certificates tomorrow, but they all passed today, which is really good. I'm just currently on my way to go surfing. We have our graduation pretty much all day tomorrow, and then we leave the next day, most of us. So going to take advantage of the day, the location, sunscreen up, hence why I'm shiny. And yeah, I'm gonna go for a step. We are all very concerned that we're gonna get very, very burnt on this surf trip because one of the girls just came back and her whole butt and back is burnt. But she put sunscreen on twice, so that's an issue. But they have options to have pants to wear as well as the rashies. So you girls gonna be taking both. <laughs> We're zinking and rushing up. Oh my god, my lips sexy. Oh. <laughs> Alright. We're rushing tight. We're ready. Her hooves are ready. Our hooved feet are ready. Riding the big surf, that wave but was freaking huge. Must have been an adrenaline camera. We're back from surfing. So good, I just caught the biggest wave of my life. I'm dressed, ready to go for dinner. We're gonna go up the hill and have a drink and some dinner at a place that I haven't been to yet. Ah! Oh 
Garlic bread? Yes. Which one? Is it? Just the garlic bread. Okay, so it is the 20th of December. It officially marks the last day of our teacher training. We have got about an hour until our graduation we did a yin class this morning then had breakfast and we were still hanging out at the cafe we're just all dispersing and getting ready getting into our white clothes for our graduation and yeah i can't believe we're actually yoga instructors it's we've come to the end i put a little tan on last night it's gonna put makeup on but i think that I might cry, so I don't really want to put mascara on because then I will look like an idiot with mascara running down my face. <laughs> so. Alright, I think I'm ready for our little graduation now. I put the tiniest little bit of makeup on, some lipstick, did my eyebrows a little bit and I have the tiniest little bit of mascara on the ends of my eyelashes. But I didn't put it on my bottom lashes, so hopefully the tears can just go down and I didn't scoop them up and not get mascara all over my face. A little bit of time before we go there, but we have a, we're doing like a fire ceremony where we're writing down something that we want to let go of in our life that we no longer want, doesn't serve us. And then on the other side, something that we want to bring into our life and manifest into our life. So and then we're going to throw that in the fire and it's gonna come true. So I need to write down what I wanna let go of and what I wanna manifest, because I haven't really thought about it yet, but I need to figure it out real quick. <laughs> I've only got. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, we'll give you this plate while we're. Sarah. Yes. Can you pass the plate? So I've just gotten back to my room after our graduation day and dinner. I'm going to pack everything up, get ready to leave tomorrow, have a shower and go to bed. I lied, I didn't pack my bag last night, but I'm dressed, this is what I'm wearing to the airport. I'm actually packing my bag now because I wanna have it all ready when I go for breakfast so that it's just ready to go because I'm probably gonna have to leave shortly after that. like a little winter wonderland. I'm ready to go. Got my bag all packed. My flight's not till 10.30. So one of the other people that were here doing their yoga teacher training has offered for us to come to their um, place that they're staying at for a night or something in Sonora so that we don't have to go and sit at the airport for like 10 hours. Bye, Limbongen!
<laughs> See the thing is. Well, no, but you have to be in it. You have to be in it if you want that. Welcome aboard. To keep the eye. Yeah, you remember me. Come on. Oh, hello, Scruffy boy. Hello. <laughs> the little baby. 